Good morning, you guys. We are out on a walk. Porter is obsessed with this lawnmower. Yesterday, that's all he wanted to do. He would just push the lawnmower and he would just be like, bye, and just walk down the street pushing the lawnmower. He pushed it yesterday all the way to the neighborhood park. And then on the way back, he got tired, so he sat in the wagon, but he pushed it all the way. He's been walking so good lately. He impresses me with like his stamina, but he is just loving pushing this mower. He saw Anthony mow the other day, and now he just wants to push his mower everywhere. Gray was never that into the mower. Porter loves it, so I'm glad it's getting some use. Um, I've seen they have bubble mowers out there. This isn't a bubble mower, but maybe I'll have to get one because Porter loves the mower and loves bubbles. But we're just enjoying the morning. No Grayson because he is at preschool. This is actually his last week of preschool. So he has preschool today and then he has preschool on Thursday and then he'll be done for the summer. So obviously preschool gets out way earlier than regular school does. This is like the second week of May, but like my sister, she goes till June, the beginning of June. I think most schools go till like the end of May. So he gets out a little early. So anyway, yeah, it's crazy that the school year is over and it's time for summer. Um, next week, the boys are gonna go and stay with Anthony's parents for a week and just like hang out in Toledo. So Grayson's summer break is turning off fast and then we've got our Dustin trip coming. Yeah, things are just staying busy. It's supposed to be like 80s this whole week. Porter is a little <laughs> social baby and he likes to say hi and bye to everybody walking up and down our street, huh? Sorry, I stopped vlogging because somebody was coming. I still feel like awkward when people see me talking to my phone. Like it's kind of weird. Well, I remember what I was talking about. In Ohio, it's really hard because in the morning it's like 55 degrees and then it's gonna raise like 30 degrees and be like mid 80s this whole week. So it's really hard, like how do you dress for that? We wear pants in the mornings and then we change it to shorts in the afternoon, I guess. So anyway, we're just hanging out. We're gonna go get gray in like a half hour, see how his day was. And then maybe we'll go to a park. We went to two parks yesterday because it was so dang nice out. And we'll probably go to another park today depending on like how the boys do with naps and stuff. Um, maybe we'll go on a family walk if Anthony gets off of work early yeah. enough. Yeah, it is a car. Porter likes to point out all the cars <laughs> all down our street, which there are a lot. A lot of cars down our street. <laughs> car, what color is it? Black, no, it's silver. Usually we ask him what color every car is and every time he says blue, but lately he's been saying black. Uh, we went on a family walk, he pointed out every car, he said every car was blue and then we finally found a blue car and so we said, Porter, what color is that? And he said black. <laughs> so we're working on colors, but um, I'll just vlog a little bit here and there. I didn't really plan on vlogging, but Porter's being so cute in the lawnmower that I was like, yeah, I will. Um, I'm feeling better about losing the house. I'm not as distraught as I was last time for some reason, and I don't know why, I just feel more at peace with us not winning that house. Um, we found out later the next day that like people had gone like 40,000 over what we were, what our max was. So it wasn't even like we were close. So um, we're just gonna keep looking. A couple houses have come on, but they're not like wowing me. So I'm hoping more come on today and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling at peace with it for some reason. I really don't know why, um, but hopefully we find our house soon. Interest rates are going up like crazy and Anthony's really worried like things are going to go a little crazy with this like popping, like the bubble popping and just rates being crazy. So we'll see, but um, yeah, I'll just vlog a little bit here and there. Hope you guys are enjoying your almost summer. Let me know down below when do your kids get off of school? Um, when's their last day? Seems like it's just all over the board, honestly. Anytime in May or June, it seems like. I kinda wish school was year round because I'm gonna miss like that routine of Grayson like constantly going on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just replace that with the story times at the library. I have to find out like when the story times are. Sorry, it's a little windy out here and Porter's pushing the lawnmower, but 
Um, I gotta look and see when story times are because I think that would be good, like a routine of like not just always going to the park because that kind of gets old of just like taking them to the library. At least they're like learning a little bit and still getting like that instruction, I guess. Um, when I just had Gray before the pandemic, we used to go to story time at least once a week, usually twice a week. And then the pandemic happened. And now that things are getting better, I really wanna do that again. Um, a lot of libraries are doing outside story time or inside story time. There's lots of libraries in Columbus, so there's lots for us to choose from. So we just gotta get a routine going. Um, until fall and then we'll be back on our school routine which will be nice so um, we're just gonna walk down the street and then i'm gonna try to get porter to eat he's still really not wanting to eat that much i swear he and gray flipped grayson ate like three and a half waffles this morning and he usually like wouldn't even touch his waffles and porter had like two bites of waffle i swear i don't know why that happened but he is just not eating so we're just gonna keep walking and I'm gonna try to get him to eat lunch. Gray, what did you bring home from preschool today? Letters. Letters. So Gray made a book and he decorated each letter of the alphabet with something different. And Porter thinks it tastes pretty good. So O is for oat, M is for macaroni. L is for letters. So they did this throughout the year. Every every couple days they do a new letter. K is for king. Wow, that is so cool. Gray is so proud of this book. Huh? Oh. H is for heart. J is for jellyfish. Oh, is that your favorite? Yes. Yeah, he worked so hard on all those letters. That looks really cool, Gray. So Gray had a great day at preschool and just bringing back, looks like they're getting, um, cleaning out their classroom. He said he read Rainbow Fish and then he brought home, like they have pictures of like um, home. So the kids, like if they got like homesick, they could look at the pictures. So they got Gave us back all of that and is all about me page that he had to do. So looks like he's basically done. I'm looking for some glue. Here, I found a glue stick. Um, so he has one more day and then he's done with his first year of preschool. It's so crazy, but he is loving this little alphabet book that he made. And Porter thinks it's really cool too. D. That's right, Porter. D. <laughs> It's after nap. Porter is popping bubbles. Grayson is doing sidewalk chalk. What do you want to do? Do letters hopscotch. Letters hopscotch. He's really into hopscotch. It is so, so hot out. I had to put sunscreen on because it's so sunny. Are we having fun? Okay, we'll work on that. All right, so we have regular hopscotch over here, one to 10, but Grayson being the ABC lover that he is, we had to do an alphabet hopscotch. So I started it <laughs> and then Gray continued it. <laughs> so this is Gray's hopscotch. I like it, Gray. Good job. You did so good. Are you gonna, show me how you do hopscotch. Yeah. Porter, stay here. Okay, go ahead. Woo. Woo. Porter. Well, I didn't think I would get this out this early because it is beginning of May or mid-May. It's the 10th. I think that's beginning of May, but it's just so dang hot and it's going to be hot in the next couple days. So 
got out the water table and they are loving it. Porter, look how big Porter is now. He can like basically reach the top. So we are having fun with the water table. When it gets like really, really warm and it's like really summer, then I'll start getting the pool out. Usually I would reserve the pool on like, has to be sunny, no chance of rain. Although a couple times last season it did rain. It has to be warm, has to be sunny. It has to be like high 80s, low 90s. Like I don't want to get it out on like a semi-warm day. So I'm a very fair weather pool person because it takes a while. Like you have to set the whole pool up. And then I usually like to fill it in the morning so then it heats up over the day. So then by the afternoon after nap time, like it's warm water. Um, so it just takes a second. And then of course, after you're done with it, then I have to drain it and roll it back up. So it takes a second. So um, once it gets warmer, I'll definitely do that. And I'll try to do the splash pad again. They weren't that into it last year, but they're bigger. So we'll see how they think this year. But right now we're just gonna play at the water table and that is pretty entertaining. You know, it's one of those like you rotate the toys. I mean, this is just rotated because of the seasons, but they think this is like a brand new toy. So I can just sit and observe. <laughs> This is so fun. I think when dad gets off of work, we're going to go on a family walk. So that'll be fun too. Woo. Gray, you look so big. Greg got this for his birthday. I think on his first birthday, Aunt Allison gave this to him. So we've had it for a long time. Definitely suggest getting a water table if you do not already have one. They are awesome. Well, that escalated quickly. Grayson insisted on the splash pad and then I was like, well, you're already wet, so. Matching bathing suits, look how cute. Still not sure about the splash pad. They're just running around it. I keep telling Gray, run through it, but he just runs around it. So we're, we're thinking about it. Uh -oh. Do you want me to turn it down? Yeah. Gray's getting more and more brave. I've got their clothes drying in the sun. I might have to change them into different clothes for our uh, walk after Anthony gets off of work. We'll see how fast the clothes dry, but I guess as long as they're having fun, it's it's all good. You having fun? Yeah. Woohoo! I am dry. Oh, good. Doesn't our lawn look so pretty? Anthony did such a good job. He had to actually mow twice because there's so much grass left after the first time. So it looks so good. I wish it lasted longer, but about two weeks we'll do it again. You want it shorter? 